Well, good morning. Just rode my Honda PCX into uh, Chumpumbury. As you can see, where I'm at the Honda dealer. I ordered two new tyres from Lazada last week and they got delivered um, two days ago. So I've no booking, just put the tyres on the bike, me and Mimi rode into the Honda dealer here. <laughs> They've just wheeled the PCX straight inside and they're going to change the tyres for me. Uh, I've got a story to tell about the original Dunlop tyres that are on this bike. Um, I, I paid 1650 baht for the tyres which is two tyres and they're, they're tubeless as well so it's a good price oh I've just been summoned the beer yeah, have a look inside yeah they got all the special tools here As I say, the, these these Dunlop tyres are absolute rubbish. I had um, an accident just up the road from here. As you can see, it's it's a very good surface, good tarmac, dual carriageway. Anyway, I was riding. I was going to the ATM. Oh, and it was just turning out time for the school. There were kids everywhere. Uh, it's really embarrassing. But, but down there, another half a kilometre or so, a dog ran out in front of me. Now, you're bearing in mind, I had a Kawasaki ZX-10 in the UK, which I rode for eight years incident-free. Um, I had an Honda XR650R enduro bike so you know I'm, I'm I'm pretty good on the bike handling in my bike handling skills but like I say this dog ran out in front of me now I'm going in a straight line and I, I applied the front brake well the front and rear brake together and I was just gradually squeezing 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 on the front on the front brake and just as I was about to release the brake because the dog ran out is quite sudden and I was just as about to release the brake and swerve around the dog the front tire locked up I couldn't believe it now for all the will in the world I wouldn't have thought that brake would be powerful enough to lock the front tire not on a road like that on a road surface bearing in mind it's hot as well so these two things that it could have been in my eyes one the road surface isn't very grippy which I know for a fact it's not too bad because I can I can do stoppies on my um, ZX um, on my um, Z300, and uh, so it's got to have been the front tyre. Anyway, down I went. Really embarrassed, skidded down the road, going about 40 miles an hour, something like that, and uh, the ambulance turned up. And uh, I was like, no, 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 no. I just wanted to get to the ATM, get my money, and then I, I went straight to the pharmacy and bought a load of painkillers and um, antiseptic. <laughs> we don't really go far on the PTX anymore. We used to use it quite a bit before I bought the car. When I was building the house, I was renting in Sato, which is uh, 32Ks away. So, you know, we're doing that journey every day. Checking on the builders. At least they've got the right tools here. They're not doing it with levers. Scraping away the paint, etc. I hear Honda get knocked quite a bit on the uh, Thai Visa. But I've never had a problem here. They're really good. Mm. So, what? no prices, no prices. Oh, yeah. 22,000 for that. Not bad actually, 8,500 kilometers. 22,000 baht. They're pretty good um, bikes for the, for the land because they got 
large um, large rimmed skinny tyres on them so much better than the PCX with their small with their small wheels these look good, these Honda Cubs Ninety baht for a spark plug. Five hundred thirty for a, an original Honda battery. Oh, I need some brake fluid actually. Brake fluid. Ah. Sixty-six baht. Hey. I buy some brake fluid as well. What's that? GoPro. Hero Session seven nine ninety. seen that camera before I'm getting jazzier and jazzier these waves probably the number one bike around here the Honda wave for farmers anyway The young kids are going into these kind of things, clicks, and these are popular, these are, uh, is it MSX? Sixty-six thousand baht. How much for a bone dome? Right, a Honda bone dome, 990 baht. 20 quid <laughs> and then you got these things for kids 250 baht just over 5 quid you fancy your chances of uh, walking away from a big injury a uh, big accident wearing one of those though Even that one there, that's 2,525 baht. I bought my PCX from here. They'd only just come out at the time. And he's got electric starts. That that one hasn't. That one has. What? What's up? The rollers, yeah? And that one is not going to sing. 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 That
to Berlin. Where is the Berlin? Where's the which one the bearing inside there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the wheel there might be a bit um it's a bit rumbly anyway. with these scooters are a bit of a pain to get the wheels off. You have to take the exhaust off then you got the swinging arm as well. The same when I did her uh, phenol. So you got the nut down there. Look. A bit of easing oil on there. Well, that's going to cost me a few quid more than I thought. I wouldn't have thought that belt and the, the uh, variator need replacing so soon. I don't have a puller for that. Well, at least a rubber mallet. Oh yeah, 66 baht that one. 180 for their work. Is that for everything? Yeah. So everything they're doing now is going to be 1,677. Where's the belt? Oh, it's only part numbers, isn't it? Mm. So is that 40 quid? We won't even look at it in England for 40 quid. <laughs> That's okay.
Look at that for a spring then. <laughs> this bearing make the noise That's the trouble. He's uh, having the special tools to do jobs. Simple enough when you've got the tools, but when you haven't, you can't do it. Good in it, you get Tyler lyrics to Bob Marley songs. <laughs> that carabao. 
Bending bearing, just a simple needle roller. Never like them things much. Can't adjust them, can't do anything. Repack them with grease, but when they're worn, they're worn. That is using a steel drift and not a brass one. <laughs> Circuit fitted. You feel that? Feel the new one? the old bearing now to knock the new one in. No proper mandrel. That'll do. Ah, sounds better now. In fact, can't hear anything. Ah, actually using a torque wrench, I'm impressed. if there's a calibration sticker on it or not <laughs> Right. 
See what do you do if you haven't got one of those tools? You start wedging screwdrivers and God knows what in there. And you can break the air fins on the cooling fins on there. My owl cup. Not me. My owl. Not need the old beats. No. That's why I said my owl cup. Oh, she said bow owl, eh? <laughs> These are great, the bike, the bike workstations. Saves a lot of back pain and knee pain, that's for sure. Alright, try and save time and go and pay. There you go. How would you like that in England, huh? You went to a garage in England and you saw all these parts plus the labour and the VAT you'd be surprised to see less than 40 quid wouldn't you? <laughs> but that's what it's cost There you go, all done. Magic.